The notion of conducting regular performance reviews is enough to make even the most even keeled manager do a internal eye roll. Often viewed as a waste of time, performance reviews get a bad rap because let's face it, evaluating people can be a difficult and a subjective task. So what if I told you that there is a simple tool that requires no technology, just a pen and paper, that can allow you to review current or prospective employees to see if they're a match for your company's core values. A simple tool that can tell you if the employee wants the job, gets the job, and has the capacity. What I'm describing is a tool called the People Analyzer. And as an integrator for businesses running on EOS, it's a tool that I cannot live without. My name is Chris Beer. I'm a fractional integrator for second stage companies running on EOS. I am a big believer in continuing education, self-reflection, and helping my peers. And this YouTube channel allows me to do just that. This channel has been a great way to connect with other teams running on EOS, as well as to share nuggets on how to be more effective in the role of an integrator and how to deliver more value to the organizations that integrators serve. In addition to this channel, another great way for integrators to connect with each other is by joining a group called the Integrator Mastery Forum. It's a peer-to-peer -peer group run by EOS Worldwide and one of my favorite features of the group is a monthly opportunity to do deep dives into EOS tools like the People Analyzer, the tools that help our businesses run better. If you have any questions about the Integrator Mastery Forum or just networking with others who are familiar with the EOS framework, throw them in the comments below. I'm super happy to help. Before we jump into the People Analyzer tool, Let's take a break and do a quick refresher about the Entrepreneurial Operating System, or put simply, EOS describes a six component recipe for maturing as an organization. The components are vision, people, data, process, issues, and traction. Listen, if someone is in the wrong role, it's going to become clear eventually. However, if you can spot the warning signs early, you can save yourself a lot of grief and you may be able to course correct before it does much damage. It's a mistake to assume that everyone can work in any role. Some people may not be capable, some don't have the right mentality, and just some just aren't experienced enough to take certain roles on. That's why it's important to be proactive and objective about regularly assessing your team for fit, doing it on a quarterly basis or even more often if needed. So I've set the stage for why you'd want to use a tool like the EOS People Analyzer. Let's take a moment here to dive into what the tool looks like and how I use it as an integrator for businesses running on EOS. One thing to note is that this tool and many other useful tools can be found on EOS Worldwide's website. So definitely go there and check out their toolbox. Let's take a look at the People Analyzer. Pretty simple, right? You have rows and columns, and in the rows, you will list the names of the employees or perhaps the candidates that you are evaluating. And then along the top in the columns, you will list your core values. For example, you might have get it, gets it done the right way. You might have continuous learner. Whatever your core values are, list them one by one followed by the words gets it, wants it, capacity, or has the capacity. That's the GWC that I mentioned. Once you've done that, you'll take your first employee and you'll go ahead and rate them based on their alignment with, your, with each core value. And the rating is very simple. It's a plus if they meet the core value a minus if they do not align with the core value, and a plus slash minus if they're somewhere in the middle. I would challenge you to go ahead and take a stand and for the most part, stick with pluses or minuses. Go ahead and fill out the core values, pluses or minuses, or plus slash minus for each individual. You'll see here that Tom is a great fit for all of the core values of the organization. Then you move on and complete the core value alignment for each member that you've listed on the people analyzer. 
as you can see, we're seeing here that Joe has some spots where he's not aligning with the core values. More about that in a minute. Next, you move on to GWC, which is whether the employee gets it, wants it, and has the capacity for the role. This is where your people analyzer and your accountability chart work hand in hand because you're evaluating these three things. Again, does Tom get the job? Does he want it? And does he have the capacity? This is a simple yes, why, or N for no. Go ahead and complete for each person in the evaluation. The next thing to do is to ask yourself, what is the bar for my company? What's the make or break it? Do they need all pluses and all whys? Is there an area where a plus slash minus would do? Only you know that as each, as each organization is different. But go ahead and set the bar so that you can objectively rate each individual against the accepted norm for your company. As we see here, Joe sticks out. Joe's not a great fit for our core values. He gets it and he has the capacity, but he doesn't seem to want the role. And by taking this objective view into his match with our core values and his ability to sit in that seat, we're able to objectively make a decision that Joe's not a right fit for the company and not a right fit for the seat. While each business should come up with their own bar for measuring acceptable employee performance, EOS recommends a bar with more pluses and plus minuses and never any minuses for an employee. So what's the ideal score? Well, when you've got everyone scoring above your company's bar, you know you're creating the company culture that you want with a great team with capacity and great chemistry. So let's recap. After listing each core value for your company, ask yourself for each candidate, are they a plus, a minus, or a plus minus? After the core values, you move on to something that EOS calls G. For that, for each employee or for each candidate, you're asking yourself, does the candidate get it? Yes or no? Does the candidate want it? Yes or no? Does the candidate have the capacity to do it? Yes or no? That's it. This tool is a simple combination of a core values alignment and what we call GWC, and that gives you the ability to make objective decisions about who belongs on your team. The People Analyzer is simple, straightforward, and direct, just like all of the EOS tools. The simple questions in the People Analyzer tool can tell you a lot about whether you have the right people in the right seats on your team. The complementary tool to the People Analyzer is the accountability chart. For businesses that run on EOS, the accountability chart ensures that your bus everyone in your business knows who is responsible for what, and that makes it easier to get things done. Similar to the People Analyzer, the accountability chart is a simple tool for moving businesses from good to great because it clearly defines who is responsible for what. I have a great video on my EOS playlist that walks you through how to build a crystal clear accountability chart. Go check it out. In a nutshell, as an integrator, I rely heavily upon EOS tools that help organizations get unstuck. And that's by taking the hundreds of challenges that we all face every day and making them more manageable. It sounds like better living through systems, right? Must be why I love it. So you're able to solve issues before they become problems. You're able to get the right people in the right seats. You can make meetings so productive that you actually look forward to them and you can build a culture of accountability. Bringing it all home, the majority of business problems are related to people problems, and people problems can be identified quicker or avoided altogether when you use the EOS People Analyzer, which helps objectively assess an individual based on their match with your company's core values and whether they GWC, get it, want it, have the capacity for the role. As an integrator for businesses running on EOS, I use that people analyzer faithfully. 
generally once a quarter, if not more, to make sure that all employees on the team are following the core values and that they're in the right seat. This routine creates a much more cohesive group of employees, all focused on the same goals, all moving the organization together. If this EOS stuff is new to you, I have a whole playlist dedicated to EOS tools and how I use them as an integrator. And if you haven't read it already, go and buy a copy of Traction by Gino Wickman. Traction is a book that presents a system for organizational health and growth. And it is a true system. Do this, do this, then this, and in this order consistently, and good stuff will likely happen because it's happened for a number of organizations. This system is called the EOS system or the Entrepreneur Operating System. And then once you've read Traction, go ahead and dig into a book called Rocket Fuel by Gino Wickman and Mark Winters. Both of these books are linked in the video description below. Rocket Fuel does a deep dive into two very important roles in a business, the visionary and the integrator. This is a powerful combination, not only necessary for growth, but also necessary for the business owner's balance and happiness. The visionary is the ideas person, the ultimate motivator. They're the one who got the business started. They define the culture. They are the one looking broad more than a month out. The problem arises when this awesome person begins overseeing the creation of the vision because that's just not where their natural talents lie. So if we're playing both roles of the idea person and the doer, the company can get stalled and the people working in can get frustrated. Now let's bring in the integrator. The foil to the visionary is the integrator. And that person's not necessarily the main doer. They're the main manager and influencer. They're the one that connects the dots to the vision. The visionary is concerned with the what and the integrator is the how. They move the team into action. They structure a plan to move forward and they make sure it happens. The combination of the visionary and the integrator is what is this rocket fuel. Really powerful book, and it's been a game changer for many businesses. For more on EOS and managing teams, check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for being here. Happy learning.